Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today it is what's sold on eBay for the week of January 3rd through the 9th. So hopefully everybody has been starting the year off great, getting back into um, working <laughs> and all the work habits uh, that go into eBay or Poshmark or Mercari or whatever uh, platform you're into. Um, me personally, I don't take any time off really. Um, I will... Christmas, New Year's, even my birthday, I will still do a little bit of work just to keep in the same routine over and over again. I don't like to break routines at all. It kind of messes, uh, it messes with me. I, I become a little bit lazy if I break out of my routines. I mean, even if I, when I went to Vegas uh, for the reseller uh, convention, I did list a little bit when I was on vacation, not a ton. Um, and I still put out a video. Uh, like hopefully you guys saw <laughs> but yeah um i try not to break out of the routines what i wanted to ask people what do you need help with what um is holding you back from making two thousand a week three thousand a week what can i help you with anything i mean um is it motivation is it um I don't know. <laughs> let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know um, if I can help you. I mean, I do have a video on how to list faster. It's pretty old. It's probably cringeworthy to watch it if it, <laughs> if I watch it. Um, but I have a video on how to wash plush. Um, I have uh, the video of how to do titles. I mean, if you want to look through my channel and find something that you need help on, um, or just ask me in the comments, do you have a video on this? Um, I will for sure, I will tag you and, and put it in there for you. Um, just let me know what you need help on, what you need working on. Um, and if I don't have a video, like the shipping, I still got to do a shipping video for um, Big Plush. But yeah, if I don't have a video on it, I, I will try to make it. I'm super busy lately. Um, but yeah, I will try to make it and help you. Just let me know in the comments what you need help with and... Um, Hopefully I can help you and I can get your business to six figures. Um, that's where everybody should be or or try to be. If you're, I mean, if you're part time, of course you're not going to want. You're not. I mean, you want to, but you're not going to hit six figures. Um, but if you're full time, you should be easily hitting six figures on uh, eBay and cross posting and everything. Uh, it should be a goal and it's super attainable as long as you're focused and your motivation is there you will hit six figures uh, i'm not going to say it's easy and i'm not going to say you're going to do it in the first year but you should hit it with work <laughs> anyways i'm sitting here playing with this little girl right here just picked up a bunch of her i believe it's from i believe they were on clearance from walmart <laughs> this is sing and glow izzy i picked a bunch of her and what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to list her as box damage you can see the box isn't damaged but i'm going to list her as box damage because she weighs about 15 ounces like this so a little trick i am just going to put a bag when i mail when i ship her off and i'm going to say the box is damaged so um, if I don't do that, then I'll have to box her and, uh, boxing her correctly will bring it over a pound and this will cost me about $9 to ship instead of, uh, five to $6 to ship just in a bag. So, um, we'll take off a couple dollars on eBay, uh, but that's the way I am going to do it just to save money on shipping. I mean, it saves me about a few, uh, about four or $5 each one. Uh, like I said, it's going to cost me about $10 to ship her if I ship her in a box. Um, but if I bag her and just say that the uh, package is damaged, people don't really care about the package. I mean, they just, as long as she works, I'm not going to push the button again. <laughs> uh, but as long as she works and, um, I mean, she's she's pretty hard. You can hear her. So she'll, she'll be fine. Her horn is rubber, so it's not going to break or anything. But yeah, that's just one of the tricks that I will do. Um... Maybe if uh, people want the the box in pristine condition, I might list a few of them. I, I bought a ton, of course. But yeah, um, that's the way I'm going to list it. But anyways, enough jibber-jabber. I have been talking too much. Uh, let's get into what's sold. All right. Here we go. Uh, total sales for this week is $3,200. Uh, 
no, $200, $14.19. Selling costs are $780.58. Net sales are $2,221.87. Quantity sold is 113 items this week. So not bad, not my... uh, not as much as I usually sell, but the the my ASP, my average sale price is oh got a new offer. <laughs> uh, my average sale price per item is twenty eight dollars, which is decent for me. Um, I've been averaging about thirty dollars lately, uh, but I'm happy with about twenty two twenty five since uh, most of my items were are are plush and um, they sell around twenty. 15 to 20 a lot of them so having an average sale price of over $28 is very good especially for my store stop with the offer there's two offers back to back on a gorilla <laughs> someone really wants that gorilla all right first one let's start with all the uh, different toys and all the odds and ends and of course we'll finish out the plush like we always do every week all right uh, this is the Simpsons Homer interactive action figure from Playmates Let's see, uh, I got this off my toy guy. Um, if you saw those videos, um, got a lot of nice uh, packaged uh, action figures, toys, a lot of just new old stock, which is great. This one actually talks. It says it's in Teletronic voice activation. And I believe you like put it on, a, what is it? It's like a, it's like a playset. I guess they have their own playsets and when you put Homer on there, they talk, so pretty cool. And that one sold for $33.99. Uh, Star Wars, this is Expanded Universe Airspeeder. Uh, this one sold for $28.89. It's just a Star Wars figure, um, but it's new old stock, which is super sweet. I'm just going to brush over these real fast because I know you guys want the plush. I know, I know. I, I can see it. I see it. I... I I hear you guys yelling at me. Get to the plush, Robert. I, I hear it. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is Star Wars Solo Vintage uh, Mim Ban Stormtrooper Walmart Exclusive. Um, keep your eye out for a uh, Walmart Exclusive. Not for Funko Pops. If you hit a Walmart Exclusive on Funko Pop, usually they are not worth um, the cardboard they're, <laughs> they're in. I mean, uh, Walmart makes a ton of Funko Pops. Uh, so I would stay away from those most of the time, but the Star Wars figures seem to be uh, okay. Uh, this one sold for thirty dollars and fifty nine cents. So if you can find, um, I mean, if you're going to a yard sale and you find a few Star Wars, uh, Walmart exclusive Star Wars toys, or anything like that, um, make sure you look them up, even if they don't have the package. Uh, this is GI Joe Snake Eyes. Um, just another action figure from my toy guy. You can see it's from Kmart at $7.49. Uh, does anybody even have a Kmart anymore? I know mine closed down uh, about three years ago. It was my last one, which I'm fortunate because I used to like Kmart, especially when they did the like the, the Christmas sales or the Easter sales where they go like 90% off, which was sweet. <laughs> Uh, this is Max and Rebo, whoever that is, but you can see it's a really cool character. So I wanted to show you this to keep an eye out for this character. I mean, loose, this one and that one should sell for a decent amount of money too. Um, this one sold for $57.79 sealed. So you know you can get probably $20 each for these guys out of the package. So keep your eye out for them. Uh, 2016 Pokemon, you know, Pokemon is hot. This one I had in my store for approximately six years. It fell off and <laughs> well, not six years, I'm um, four or five years. I got these at Target for like five bucks a piece. Uh, I was trying to blow them out at $15 a piece. This one, they, they fell off my listings and I found it in the back of um, it fell behind the shelf, so I found three of these guys in the back of my shelves, and now they sold for $141. So, um, thank you eBay for knocking off my listing because I was only selling these for like $15 or $20, and they sold all three for $140, which is a, which is amazing. It's just um, 
yeah <laughs> it's just amazing that that happened it's crazy this is a pokemon venusaur ex10 i mean the the tin empty alone sells for over 20 now so that is crazy but thank you ebay for knocking off my listing <laughs> uh this is the office bears beats dwight silhouette i, I don't know what it is <laughs> it's a, a, the office guy uh, it says Battlestar Galactica on it. I've never watched The Office, so I have no idea where it, where it comes from. Uh, this one I got from GameStop, the 95% off when I bought GameStop out. So I paid maybe a dollar or so for this shirt, and it sold for $16.99. Uh, another uh, nice Star Wars collection, uh, well, collection, collector series uh, toy. This is a Tuscan Raider. Uh, you can see he, he's he got a funny looking face here. Let me see if I can show you the, the close up of this guy. This guy's hilarious. Look at this <laughs> face. Uh, it was hard to get a nice bright picture. I should have uh, uh, like brightened up the camera a little bit so you can see his face. But hey, it's sold. I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, this guy sold for $35.69. Uh, Star Wars SDCC. Anytime you see this little sticker, make sure you look it up. A lot of these guys can be can make uh, well can make you a bit of money, um, whether it's uh, Funko Pop or action figures. Just if you see this out in the wild, uh, any of these uh, little stickers in the corner, might as well look it up. Take a few minutes, look it up, uh, see if it's worth selling. This one sold for forty two forty nine. Uh, Kiss collectibles. Um, my <laughs> toy guy has a lot of Star Wars and a lot of Kiss, um, so uh, and a lot of Simpsons. So it's like a, a trifecta of stuff that you will see um, me selling for the next oh, few months, I guess. <laughs> uh, this guy, well, it's Gene Simmons. Everybody knows this guy. He's good. he's the one with the tongue. <laughs> um, he has a certificate of like authenticity back here, or is it a signature? I don't know it's a limited edition of this um, so if you can find these headliners in the box even if the box is torn up you should make a few dollars this one sold for $29.74 uh, Cannon Busters you know how much I love my pins um, I haven't been showing the pins because they are like the same over and over and over again so I stopped showing them the same with uh, the pop sockets I'm pretty much out of pop sockets now though uh, but the pins do very well I love my collectible pins. These are small little tiny pins. Uh, this is a set of three and it sold for $33.99. I mean, they weigh nothing. Uh, they take up no space. Um, you can start, if you don't know what to go into, try pins. I mean, pins, ties, there's a lot of things that are super small, and especially if you live in like an apartment building where you can just get a ton of them. I mean, records, video games, Things that are super small where you can get a ton of them and make a ton of money and live off. You can live off pins. I mean, there's pin sellers. There's, um, yeah, <laughs> you can just live off different pins, which is cool. Uh, these are from Cannon Busters, whatever that anime is. And this black silverback monkey is being annoying. <laughs> uh, the set of three sold for $33.99. Uh, one more fig pin sold. This is from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, this actually has like a hard case on it. Uh, you can see it was a little bit damaged right there. But it's still sold for $16.99. Uh, Disney Baby O oh, Snap Gingerbread Man Christmas PJs. These I got from the Disney store I think two years ago. Thought I had them listed but when I checked they were not listed. As I had a bag of them and I was putting them away. I'm like, these aren't listed. <laughs> no wonder they're not selling. Um, but yeah, I will buy baby clothes and t-shirts and a whole bunch of clothes. If I can get like four or five or of the same one. Because I don't like to list uh, singles of any clothes at all. Uh, this one sold for $23.79. And unfortunately, my Disney store has closed down. So I won't be going there anytime soon. Which, that sucks. <laughs> I used to love going to the Disney store, uh, store every time I went to Vegas. And they closed it. Which is sad. Oh well. <laughs> 
All right, next one. This is a McFarlane's Voodoo Queen Monster. Uh, this one has a variant of, there's like blood splatter on the corner of this uh, package, which um, I, I guess it makes it more valuable with a little bit of blood, or, blood splatter. I mean, it wasn't, I sold the other one that didn't have the blood splatter for $2 different. So it wasn't a huge difference, but maybe I made a mistake and this one um, should have gone for a lot more. I don't know. I'm just learning toys. I'm trying to learn all these action figures and uh, toys along with you. But anyways, I'm happy it sold for $33.99. Uh, this was a great sale. This was um, Independence Day. Uh, this is a Will Smith movie from a long time ago. You can see the, the button didn't work anymore. You can see it says try me right there. But yeah, this uh, this was in the package. So if you can find this one in the wild, um, just uh, spaceship alone, I'm sure you can get probably like fifty dollars for it. In the the package, I got eighty four ninety nine. So nice sale on that one. All right, I sold another Fuggler. <laughs> so I guess all I have to do is complain about that this blue one hasn't sold, and it'll start selling. Um, I sold the purple ones, the pink ones, and the green. I believe it was green. No, it was maroon. I sold them super fast within the like the the first few months of me listing it. This blue one has taken me years, and it's still in my store. So I don't know what happened to them, but um, now they started to sell. He sold for twenty one, twenty four, and his box was sturdy enough. So all I did was just put a bag over it and ship it out. So it was a super easy uh, shipping to do, and I believe he was only like 14, 15 ounces. So uh, again, I didn't want to box him. I showed that he had damage on him already. So um, I know a lot of a uh, few people aren't going to uh, <laughs> agree with me, but that's the way I'm going to ship it out if it's going to save me some money. And as long as I'm upfront with people and tell them that the box was damaged, I don't see any problem with it. All right, dandy plush pink Easter uh, bunny rabbit basket. Um, this one I got from, I believe this was a, from Goodwill uh, or or from the bins. I don't remember. I, now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably from the bins. Uh, it's just a simple little bunny rabbit. <laughs> um, I did box it because there's like, oh, let me show you. There's like plastic in the here. And if I didn't box it, you can see how the handle is kind of like a little bit messed up already. If I didn't box it, it could be crushed if I just put it in a bag and it would be just trash. So I did put it in an 8 by 8 by 8 box and it shipped it out. It didn't weigh much. Um, so it, it weighed maybe like 12 ounces with the box. So I was super happy with that, which is fine. And it sold for $21.24. Uh, the next one, this is Five Nights at Freddy Foxy Plush. Um, got a lot of the different guys. Uh, these are from GameStop. GameStop had a sale on these guys again, which was exciting for me because I love selling the Five Nights at Freddy uh, Plush. I got a few. They were like neon. Uh, there was neon green, I believe neon pink, and a neon like yellowish. And this guy and then Freddy. Uh, Freddy's the the bear, I believe. Uh, yeah, they had a nice sale at GameStop, and I believe I paid like three dollars each for them. Anyways, they're selling for twenty one twenty four, and I've sold three so far. Uh, this is a Pirates of Caribbean plush dog. It has a jail key in his mouth. Uh, this one I got a uh, thousands of offers on this one. Uh, I, I don't know why people were just sending me 15, 15, 15. People really wanted this one. And um, once I got like the fifth offer in, the, in a week, I knew I wasn't going to drop the price at all. Um, <laughs> that's just what, what I do. If you're going to keep offering, if people are just going to offer an offer, it means it's very well wanted. So I will not drop the price. Um, I'll just let it ride out. And it took a few months to sell, but... I did get my twenty-five forty-nine out of him. You can see right there, <laughs> uh, little funny-looking dog. Uh, Barkbox. This is uh, uh, donuts from Barkbox. 
I've talked about how the, um, the BarkBox toys sell for good money. Um, I was kind of considering if I can find a cheap subscription just to get it because these things alone sell for like twenty one. I've sold ones up for fifty dollars. The 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 toys alone sell for good money, and I know they they put more than one toy in a box, so it should pay for itself. If so, I was considering buying just a subscription just for the toys. I mean, it's crazy what these uh, toys are going for. And like I said, this one sold for twenty one twenty four. Angry Birds, Blue Bird Commonwealth. Uh, had this one in my store a while. You can see how the background. I don't know why the background turned purple. That's weird. <laughs> um, I always have a white background. I guess the, the Blue Bird kind of like shined <laughs> to the background. But yeah, uh, Angry Birds still sell very well. Uh, the red one, uh, not so much, but the blue ones, the white ones, the yellow ones do sell pretty well. This one, the sound, uh, didn't work. I mean, I could have made it work if I wanted to cut it open right in the, the forehead and replace the battery, but I did not want to go through that. It was only going to make it like three, four dollars more, so it wasn't just wasn't worth my time to open them up and resew them up. Anyways, uh, he sold for twenty five forty nine. Uh, snowman Christmas decor doorknob. This one, as soon as it sold, the uh, in the next couple days, I got three uh, messages. Did this one sell? <laughs> it's like, if you wanted it so bad, why didn't you just buy it? This, this has been in my store for over a year, and once it sold, um, three people messaged me like, did this sell? And I'm like, yeah, it sold. You could have had it for a good price. All you had to do was give me an offer. I would have sold it to you a long time ago. I believe I got this one off of Rite Aid or maybe I picked it off the bins. I'm not positive, but I know I got it for super cheap. Uh, it sold for $18.69. So. Sometimes it's just crazy. <laughs> Uh, Bewitch Samantha, talk about something that's crazy. This thing is super small. N let me show you this. Look at this. It is about four and a half inches long. That's what the stretched out uh, broom. It's just a little belt clip and it sold for $25.49. So keep your eye out for some uh, the Bewitch belt clips or keychains, whatever they are. <laughs> keep your eye out for them because, man, uh, I mean, if you're if you're at the bins and you're paying by the pound and this thing's only what weighs an ounce or two at the most which is crazy and you're selling it for $25 uh, another lovey blanket sold this is goodnight moon uh, you can see he's like holding part of the blanket uh, very nice little lovey uh, nothing special about the lovey uh, I got these off of I believe it was Target Target of Kohl's. I, I get all the department stores. I buy too much. <laughs> uh, but anyways, he sold for nineteen fifty four, and two was sold so far. Sea World Gray Dolphin. This is just a basic gray dolphin. Nothing special about him at all. You can see he has the nice blue eyes, but yeah, there is nothing really special about this uh, dolphin. Um, but yeah, <laughs> he sold for fifteen twenty nine. Uh, Fisher Price Chef Barney. This one is actually going overseas. They pay over forty dollars to get it shipped to them. Cost me ten forty nine to ship to them uh, through Pirate Ship's simple export rate, and um, so I made about say thirty bucks off of him, which is sweet for just a little Barney that I only wanted seventeen dollars for. So that's why I like to ship overseas. I mean, even if you have problems overseas, which I really haven't. I've had like one or two problems overseas. And one, I got my money. Well, both of them, I got my money back from Pirate Ship. So I have no problems. And I've sold probably thousands of items overseas. So if you should be checking out Pirate Ship, um, if you don't, well, that's on you. <laughs> At least do GSP for from eBay. Another one that they paid over um, $40, this one is also going overseas, is just this simple Koopa Troopa. 
Let's see, he's about eight inches, eight and a half, I guess, um, tall. And they paid 40, I think it was like $42 to get it shipped. And it cost me again, 1049 with pirate ship. Uh, Kelly Toy Hippo. This is a gray pink. Uh, where's the pink? Oh, I guess it's in his ears. <laughs> um, just a generic hippo. I don't know um, how to describe him. So I just put gray and pink. I guess I needed a few more letters in there. But yeah, it has the soft eyes. I mean, you can put soft eyes if you want because um, it could be a baby toy. Uh, but anyways, it sold for fourteen forty four. This is a Safari collection from um, Kelly Toy. Uh, Melissa and Doug. This is a uh, huge cuddle horse. Uh, again, with these guys, what I do is I just roll the the head into the belly and make it as small as possible, and then throw it in the bag. Uh, nothing hard. Uh, with the tag, I make sure to tuck it in, usually with by his arm or. Uh, under his ear or just just hide the tag so it doesn't get damaged um, But yeah, this is a just a nice little Melissa and Doug uh, Horse I'm trying to click on it. It didn't want me to <laughs> uh, Yeah, you can see he was 28 inches long So yeah, nice long uh, Melissa and Doug. He's been in my store for a while. So didn't mind just getting rid of him no, this isn't the one I was thinking of because this has a black ruler. Um, I guess the one in my store is still stuck there. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, he sold for $33.99. Uh, last but not least, of course, you got to have a Squishmallow. i got to show you a Squishmallow sale. Um, this is a Target exclusive Janessa the Bear tie-dye bear. And again, what I do with the... Uh, with the big squishmallows, I still got to do a video on the shipping. Is just make a taco, I karate chop it right in the middle, make sure the tag goes in there, and then shove it in the smallest bag possible so I can ship it off Pirate Ship. And Pirate Ship will usually cost me about nine to ten dollars. They raise the price, so usually around ten dollars now. But anyways, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. Take care. Bye.